Hi, I'm Matt and uh, I'm here today with Owen, who's one of our mammal keepers here at Paynton Zoo. And we've uh, come to see our bongos. So, Owen, uh, who have we got in front of us here? Uh, so, on the left we have Azizi, who's our uh, resident female. And on the right we've got our new boy, Arlene. So this is Azizi? So she's, she's been here for a while, right? Yes, yeah, she was born here actually. Okay. So yeah, so she's uh, lived her entire life in Paynton Zoo. But Ali's a little bit newer, isn't he? He is, so uh, we've only had him for literally uh, about a week and a half at the moment. And as you can see, they've, uh, they've really taken to each other now. So. Uh, yeah. a huge bonus. I know I can see the difference between the two. You know, you can see that Ali is much sort of bigger, much more muscly. Mm -hmm. But how else can you tell the difference between the, the boys and the girls? The females tend to be a lot lighter in colour. Uh, you can see obviously her orange effect leaf, so looking like a very bright uh, orange sort of point. Uh, he's almost a chestnut brown sort of point. Uh, more older males would say he's going to be seven in about a month's time. So uh, yeah, yeah, he's uh, still a young lad really. So he gets a bit older, he'll get a little bit dark potentially. Uh, we've got between 12 and 14 of those white vertical stripes. Uh, the male, as you can see, uh, really good show there between the horns. Uh, strangely, for a tragalapha spe species of antelope, spiral horned antelope, uh, the male and females have horns, uh, whereas a lot of the time, sugar boys have horns. I mean, their horns are quite amazing, aren't they? Very no, much so. We're much calling them horns, they're yeah. not antlers. No, so not what's antlers. The these, uh, these guys aren't deer, so deer is the only species that have antlers. Uh, they'll drop them each year. Yeah. Uh, these guys keep them all year round, so I'll see horns there. So, Ali and Azizi, their horns will say they grow as yeah. they get older. His will get slightly bigger. Uh, hers are, are pretty much done effectively uh, as growing goes to those, but you can see that his are a lot wider. Okay, so one thing we haven't talked about is that these are a Painton Zoo, mm -hmm. but in the wild, where would you find them? Eastern uh, Kenya, uh, hence Eastern Bonga. Uh, these guys are uh, one of two subspecies. These guys are actually critically endangered out in the wild. So it's super, super important that we're involved in the breeding program and the captivity. Right, so when we say like, critically endangered mm -hmm. with some species, with bees, yep. we're talking about how many animals? Uh, there's thought to be uh, in the region about 140 individuals in the 140. world. 140. There's more in zoos mm -hmm. in Europe than there are in Kenya. Thought to be, yes. Yeah. So we're doing, let's say, quite, quite a lot of important work from a conservation ex situ point of view of keeping them, uh, obviously, in captivity to have a safety net population. Okay. So it's, it's very important. They're managed on a, a stud book, so that's looked at genetics and demographics. Yeah. Uh, you tend to get more females than males, obviously, with the uh, okay. antelope. Uh, and obviously, uh, hopefully, these part will be, these two will be involved in uh, that breeding program, produce offspring. Now I can hear the busy sounds of munching here, so yeah. they're grazing on grass at the moment. And uh, uh, what, but what would you expect to, them to eat in the wild? And what's their favourite food here? Uh, they're technically browsers, so it tends to be. Uh, who start vary on the side of grazers and browsers. Okay. Grazers go around grazing on things like grass. Browsers will go around nipping things like uh, leaves, nipping on branches, uh, potential fungus. Uh, oh, okay. across I think we've not mentioned this. They're a forest antelope. They are right? a forest. So Actually, the large forest antelope. Oh, okay. So um, when large, how big? Uh, so the males can get up to 400 kilos. Okay. So obviously a fair whack of an animal. It's a lot of antelope. Yeah. Uh, and the females, as you can see, are a lot, a lot smaller build. Uh, thought to get up to around 240 kilos. Um, another interesting thing being a forest antelope, having big horns isn't always an easy thing to do. No. Uh, so one of their interesting uh, escape strategies when they run away, they tend to put their head back to put their horns aligned with their back. Right. So that way they're not going to get caught up in lots of vegetation when they're running through okay. uh, to escape predators. Uh, with, again, more mature individuals, you might actually see some hair loss. Uh, actually where the horns would rub in the wild. Okay. Rubbing, so. so then you rub the hair, yeah, rub the hair the off their shoulders as yeah, they're literally. running. Yeah. So, thanks Owen, thanks for telling us about the bongos. No problem. Hopefully you'll be able to come and see them soon here at Paynton Zoo. Cheers. Thanks, Ross. Cheers guys.